Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of a recreation of the Mega Park as made famous by Fluxtrance, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, so this episode, I kind of decided on something. Instead of just building as much as I can per episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build like say um a one building or one you know like ride and then the scenery around it if that makes any sense so like this episode we're going to be working on um the food court i'm not sure what he called it i couldn't really read it and i didn't really pay much attention to what he typed in there so i actually ended up naming this um food court area the um i think it was snacks and snacks or something I don't know. I didn't know what to call it, so that name may be changed again. So um, that's not a big deal if we do end up having to do that. So again, this these episodes will be differently or made differently. So instead of doing as much as I can all at once, we're just gonna go for a uh, different approach of like just build one thing per episode so this thing is the snack area or I don't know what he really planned on calling this area um, so what I was doing there I, I thought it'd be a little quicker if we just placed it up on top of the land and then uh, moved it down into the land for these fences turned out I was actually correct on this instance um, another thing I want to tell you guys Someone commented on the first episode um, about maybe improving on what Fluxtrance had built already. So I'm actually I actually took the liberty of doing that here. Um, so at the end of this, after building this building, and he put some trees and stuff around. Well, instead of doing that exactly what he did I actually came up with my own rendition of it so instead of the trees everywhere I kind of made like a little flower bed along the, the side of it um, I just realized that I didn't finish part of the inside of this building so I'm gonna have to do that off camera or I may do it at the very beginning of the next episode I didn't I put that bathroom stall there and actually all those stalls they need uh, shop fronts and stuff so we can actually do that next episode I'll just do a little detail work on that it's not a big deal at all it's really a quick and easy fix so I mean what are you gonna do alright so here we're placing in the trees and he was placing down I'm not sure what it was called um, but in RCD2, you had these trees that were yellow with, like, green leaves in them, like, mixed in. So what I did here was I came up with the idea of using bushes, uh, like, sticking the bushes in the tree. So it gives that kind of same color scheme that you would get with the RCT2 tree. So hopefully that comes out good. If you guys don't like it, please let me know, and I can actually fix it or come up with a different way to do it but you know just let me know I love to hear you guys' feedback and also um, I tweeted this video at uh, Flux Strengths and he was kind enough to pretty much I can't remember exactly what he said I think he said this is awesome or something so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and finish this park um, I'm going to do the best I can to finish it uh, all the way through. If we run out of room, then I guess we're going to have to end the series at that point. But until that happens, this will be a permanent series on this channel more than likely. Um, another problem I ran into was on RCT2, you had these roof tiles that would actually make a, a point in the middle. And I did not have the chance of doing that with this piece because um, I made the building on a three tile grid instead of a four tile grid. Oh, I don't. Oops. 
<laughs> should probably cut that out, but anyway, so here I'm making the, um, I don't know, I think it's called scaffolding. Um, there's like little wooden pieces that you could use um, on the RCT2 game. They're just like wood scaffolding that you could use for various things like this even for like a shop front type thing. I do need to get around to finishing up the um, the scaffolding ironwork on the ride next to this. So uh, that's another thing we'll have to do probably off camera or the very yeah I'll just do that at the very beginning of next episode. Why not? I mean, it, it won't take me that much time, so we could just do that. So here, I was actually going for like an hour, but thankfully I cut that out. Sorry about that. And I should be back any moment now. Sorry, I'm not very good at this um, commentary thing. I'm quite new to this whole ordeal. Um, I plan on getting better, uh, but please hang in there with me. I know I'm not the best. I'm probably one of the smallest YouTubers you guys have ever seen. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying at least. I'm trying. But I'm having fun while doing it, so, I mean, I guess that's something. So, yeah, this... This scaffolding I'll actually end up putting on the workshop probably after this is uploaded. So if you go to my workshop, I might actually put the link to that in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check that out. So yeah. <laughs> and right here I decided to go a different approach instead of he put these um, little flat pieces up a up against the roof or ceiling of this overhang instead I just used beams and uh, I may have to conceal that top part so yeah I may have to end up doing exactly what he did um, and then we're about to go ahead and put the um, sign on this um, I couldn't really decide on the sign I wanted to use I go through quite a bit of these and I actually wish I went with that orange and red one now that I think about it because uh, the one I ended up with, I think it's, yeah, this green one. I'm actually not too big of a fan of it. it. Basically, I don't like it because of the little contour it has, or hourglass shape it has along the side of it. I'm not too big of a fan of that. Um, but I guess we'll have to fix that again. Again, this part can be fixed and stuff, so. We can always go back and edit things out, you know, fix things, all that good stuff. And we're about to start our little garden area. Um, this is the thing I like to do. I like putting little dirt slash sand into my flower beds. Kind of gives the feel of uh, people walk through it and water the plants and stuff. Uh, that's kind of the, the look I was going for. Um, the other thing I want to tell you guys, um, I, I'm about to put some bushes on the ground. Um, and if... If it's too much, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I don't want it to be overpowering and stuff. So just let me know if it is overpowering. Um, or if it doesn't look good, please let me know. Because uh, it may it may be overpowering because of the way I placed them. But uh, that'll be here after we put these bushes in the trees. All right, so what, I don't know what that bush is called. It's the um, the green one, this one. Oh, well, what that was going for? This thing. So I don't know if this is too much for this area. It may be, but then I stick in a crap ton of flowers in it, so it kind of looks like a flower bed. And uh. I may actually put some lights in this area, and if I do do the lights, I will, I mean, it's kind of tedious, but I will put some cables running to, you know, the lights throughout the flower bed. It'd be kind of 
aesthetically pleasing 